The surfers don't mind having this Tofino beach all to themselves, but it's a different story when you run a luxury inn. Here we are looking out due west and due south. This one is currently shut down and 90% of the staff are laid off. The challenges that we face are for sure daunting and, and, and the new normal will be different. Because the new normal for the summer at least means likely few or no international visitors. In 2018, that group spent more than $7 billion in BC. More than 280 cruise ships docked in Vancouver last year and it's estimated that each ship and all of its passengers pump about $3 million into the local economy. It's not clear whether this summer any cruise ships will be able to come and that's why the local economy could take a big financial hit. Alfred Esmeyer won't be driving these shuttles anytime soon. My clients have cancelled till the end of August. He thinks he can weather a season with no bookings, but worries about the industry overall. I foresee that quite a few companies will not survive, and they can range from big to small. Destination BC, a provincial crown corporation, normally encourages tourism. So for now we pause, stay in, and dream of later. But for now, it's telling people to stay home. Once more restrictions are lifted, it plans to encourage people to support local. There are things that we can do as British Columbians to ease the pain that has been so severe for our tourism industry. Pretty bird! Not every attraction will be able to woo local tourists, but the Bloedel Conservatory, with all of its exotic birds, hopes to. When we reopen, we will be targeting local residents and a lot of families who are looking for things to do outside their homes. Because travel restrictions mean more people will be looking for adventures closer to home. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.